Hi, I'm Dr. Emma from Simple Physical Literacy. If you're new to retained primitive reflexes, please subscribe by clicking on the button below and watch the video on retained primitive reflexes for some background information. Today we have TLR in a nutshell. Now the clue to TLR is in its name, tonic labyrinthine reflex. Tonic being tone of the muscles, labyrinthine being the semicircular canals for balance. So it's to do with tone and balance. The very first lesson that the baby will learn or will master in their life is head control. And mastery of head control is fundamental to balance, coordination and posture. As a baby develops and they go from lying to rolling to all fours for creeping and crawling and to standing and eventually walking, their tone improves each time. So we start with a baby lying on their tummy and that's why tummy time is so important. The baby starts to lift their head. By six weeks, the baby can lift their head off the mat. Then when the baby is lying on their back, the next is that they can lift their head from that. The next stage is that the baby will, will roll over from front to back, then from back to front. Then the baby will sit up. Now the muscle tone is developing even more and the balance and proprioception, knowing where they are in space. From sitting, they go on to all fours, then they will stand and eventually walk. Now that's a lot of skills to master and the TLR involved in all of them. So the TLR is not integrated until the child is about three and a half, when all of those skills have happened in a domino effect. So we really see how important it is for the domino effect to happen. And if a child misses out on any of those stages, it can have an impact on a retained TLR. A retained TLR child might have muscles that appear too rigid or too floppy. They may have poor posture, um, poor spatial orientation, so they're not quite sure how far away the chair is or the table is, so they may be clumsy, bump into things. They will often be diagnosed with dyspraxia, have difficulty with sequencing. So difficulty sequencing in your body um, translate to difficulty sequencing then abstractly, which is times tables, even reading and writing are sequences. So we can see how much of an impact the TLR would have in the classroom. A child with a retained TLR, because their neck muscles aren't really strong enough to hold their head up, the head feels heavy, the posture is poor, so they'll sit in a slumped position. When they're walking, they'll often toe walk because it's like as if the head is too heavy and they'll walk along with their toes because the head is starting to run away. With this forward head posture, the tongue can slump forward in the mouth and it can affect speech or even dental issues. As the, as the tongue presses forward on the teeth, they can become splayed or a little bit buck and it can affect the speech too. When a child can't hold their head straight, you can imagine how difficult it is um, for their vision. So the moving camera, which requires a steady head, actually has a moving camera that's juggling um, all over the place. So the vision um, is affected by it and they have visual perceptual problems. When astronauts go into space, they'll get something called space dyslexia because, the, because they have no gravity and therefore they feel insecure. Their body is in gravitational insecurity. They start to reverse letters. They get right and left wrong, front to back, upside down. And that's what these children are living in all the time is in um, a space dyslexia sort of an environment. So um, they're like astronauts living on Earth. They may find it hard when they start to swim because coordinating the upper and lower half of their body is difficult. So integrating the TLR is really important and can have a huge benefit for children both at home and in the classroom. Go to www.simplephysicalliteracy.com for more information on the TLR. You can register for the home programme if you're a parent for exercise to integrate the TLR and sequencing which will really help a TLR child. If you're a teacher, the school's programme will tackle the whole class all together. So it's an inclusive, fun programme for all children to uh, develop postural reflexes, develop physical literacy together. In the meantime, keep moving and keep well.